Uh, hello guys and uh, welcome to my new tutorial. In this tutorial uh, I'm going to show you how to de detect uh, gestures um, on uh, your uh, Android uh, application. So first uh, what we are going to do, uh, we are going to create uh, one uh, private object uh, which is a gesture detector. Uh, or we are going to use a gesture detector compat version. So it's compatible with previous uh, Android uh, OS versions. Okay, and we're going to name it uh, M Gesture Detection uh, Detector, like that. Uh, after that, we're going to uh, initialize this object in the onCreate method. Um, uh, new Gesture Detector Compat, and we're going to pass two parameters. The first parameter is context, which is a main activity, and the second parameter is. Uh, new class which will uh, we create in a moment the new class uh, is uh, named gesture listener and uh, you you see a red color here because uh, this uh, beca because android studio does not recognize this class um, uh, we will create this class or uh, i think it will be smarter to create it uh, in this uh, main activity so we're going to create inner class private class gesture listener uh, which will extend uh, the gesture uh, detector class dot uh, simple on gesture listener okay just add it and there we go we have created the our class which will extend this um, gesture detector simple gesture listener Okay, I forgot to add the uh, brackets here. Sorry about that. Okay. Uh, now that we have that, uh, we're going to add a few methods in our gesture listener class. So press Control O, and uh, there are a few methods here. We're going to use just three of them, not all, but you can try uh, any one of them. We're going to use uh, on double tap, on single tap confirm, and on fling methods. You also have on long press, on uh, scroll, on down, and so on. So in each of those methods, uh, we're going to uh, present one simple toast message. So you can uh, just check it out how it works. Uh, in on fling method, we'll say fling. Next, on double tap method, uh, we're going to say uh, double tap. And in our last method, uh, on single tap confirm, we are going to say on single tap confirm, of course. Single tap confirm, like that. And the last step uh, we need to do, uh, we need to add a method which will listen for a gesture detection on uh, our application screen. And that method is called uh, on touch event. Okay, uh, we'll just add uh, our uh, object we, we created earlier for gesture detector and we're going to use its method on touch event and pass the event uh, parameter here. So uh, we have connected our uh, uh, gesture detector and gesture detector object with this uh, on touch event uh, method. So now uh, that we have uh, uh, created that uh, we're going to try our application and uh, let's try it uh, how it actually works we're going to run uh, emulator and now as you can see here if we click uh, if we tap uh, one time we get the single tap confirm message if we tap two times, we get double tap, and uh, the fling uh, is when you uh, tap and move your mouse or finger uh, up, down, left or right. But uh, when you click uh, or tap, you release and uh, move. Okay, uh, if you don't know what the fling animation, fling animation is, there you go. It's uh, like that. It's uh, not exactly like scrolling but uh, you'll get the difference check it out on official documentation 
and uh, that was all for this tutorial i hope you enjoyed uh, thank you for watching and see you in another tutorial